Welcome to the MK Yacht Explorer video check-in for Yacht Marie. Marie is a 2021 Bavaria 51 cruiser. My name's Nick from 45 Degree Sailing and I'm going to take you through all of the operational procedures and features about the yacht so that when you're out on charter, you know what to do. main control center on Marie is at the starboard helm station. Here you have one of your two helms, you have your BNG display unit, bow and stern thruster controls, electric winch controls, autopilot, BNG display, and your engine controls and horn controls below me here. To turn your engines on, you use the panel here at the starboard helm station. Before you turn on your engine, check that you're neutral. If you push in this button, this disengages the gear. When it comes back to neutral and clicks, you would know you're in neutral. Hold down on off to turn on power to the panel. Your fuel gauge is displayed here next to the panel. Once the display starts up and beeps, hold down start to start your engine. Once the engine starts, always check that you have water flowing out from the cooling outtake on the aft port side of the yacht. If there is not water flowing out the outtake, stop the engine immediately and diagnose the problem. If you cannot figure this out, call MK Yachting Technical Support. To engage in forward, push the lever forward. Neutral, vertical. And to engage in reverse, push to reverse. Hold stop to stop the engine and then turn off the panel. Also have the signal box here with the horn where you can use automated fog signal or auxiliary signal inputs and press the horn for single blasts. Also here you have the manual bilge pump which pulls out like this and pumps manually to remove water from the hull. Controls on starboard of the helm station. You have a cover for your bow and stern thruster controls. You have your autopilot controls and a BNG display unit. You can choose what page of the display is showing. Your autopilot is here. Press auto to maintain a steady course forward. Minus 10 or 10 to port will change your heading to port. 10 to starboard will change your heading to starboard by 10 degrees or by single degrees. Press standby to steer manually. This control is for your starboard electric winch control. Press to bring in the winch. Be careful with these as they are very strong and make sure you always know what you are winching. To turn the bow thrusters on, hold down the two on buttons simultaneously. Wait for them to drop into position. Now they are ready. This shows the level of service and the battery levels. Press one way to activate your stern thruster is the bottom one. To activate your bow thruster is the top one. You can operate these at the same time. Do not operate these for longer than three to four seconds at a time. To turn these off, hold down off, and then be sure to return the cover to the controls so that you cannot knock these. Your BNG display unit here has all of your functions for the charts and the wind instruments. Press this button here to get to your app section where you can choose charts or sailing information or split screen situations. You'll also notice that you have an autopilot control here. Tap on the autopilot here to have your controls come up in a touch screen view. When this orange rim is selected around here, the turning knob will adjust this here. If you engage the autopilot and the orange rim is around here, when you turn this knob, it will turn the autopilot. So be very careful of that. When it is selected around the chart, it will zoom and you can zoom and pan with your pinch fingers. And you can zoom and pan with your fingers, pinch to zoom in and out. Marie's swim platform is controlled hydraulically on a winch from here on the port quarter. Press on the top side of this button to lift the swim platform. Be sure that these lines stay clear 
and nothing like power cables or anything else can get caught in between the platform and the yacht. Make sure you always lower the swim platform all the way down so that the weight is on these lines on the sides, not on the winch line. Your gas bottle is located here on the port side inside this locker. You have a gauge on here to tell you the pressure level and here you turn the gas on by turning anti-clockwise. Turn it off by screwing it closed turning it clockwise. Always turn your gas off when you're finished cooking to avoid any sort of fire or catastrophe. If you need to change your bottle, hold the gas bottle like this at the valve and turn the base. Replace the new bottle. Be sure to turn very carefully to make sure you do not cross the thread and damage the valve. Once the new bottle is replaced, check you have your seal by opening, close before you put away. Marie has two shore power cables, both 16 amper, one for the air conditioning shore supply and the other for the main shore supply for the boat. The switches and breakers for these main shore power supply cables are located in the aft port cabin behind this panel and behind the wall in this position here. If you are not receiving power to the shore power or AC from the shore service, check these switches here. Also located in this compartment is the swim platform thermal fuse for the engine that drives the swim platform lift. If you have any problems with this, contact NK Yacht Explorer and they will instruct you on what to do. Underneath the starboard and port side at the helm stations, you have these helmsman steps. You can lift these up and place them at an angle so that you have good support on your foot while you are sailing. Remember to put these down as they are a massive trip hazard. Inside here also is the emergency steering locations for each rudder, the starboard rudder under here, which you can put your emergency steering tiller on. Under the port helm step, which also acts as a step here, you can open this up. Here you have your diesel fill point and of course your other second rudder emergency steering point. The cockpit shower is located here on the aft starboard side. Open this panel, you can pull the shower cable out. To turn the water on, you move the switch across laterally like this. To adjust the mix, cold, clockwise, hot, anti-clockwise. Then press the button to get your water. Make sure you always turn this off and check that it is off, otherwise you can have water dripping and wasting your fresh water into the hull of the boat. Underneath the main garage door, in the cabin sole you have your life raft, and also your spear anchor and a large storage space for anything extra you may need to put in here. When anchoring, make sure that your engine is on and that you excite the revs in neutral to about 1200 RPM. Push this button in and move the lever forward. This will help excite the alternator and charge the batteries, supplying more power to the anchor windless battery when you are anchoring. The anchor windless controller is located here in the forward storage locker. Open this and pull out the controller. Be wary to pin this back so that it does not fly over in the wind and hurt anyone. Here the controller is very simple. It has two controls on it, up, up and down. Up for pulling up the anchor, down for letting down the anchor. Press down to lower the anchor. Do this first part very slowly so that you do not bang the anchor onto the hull of the boat. The 
anchor is marked at 10 meter increments with colors. 10 meters is blue and another color at 20, another at 30 and another at 40. When bringing your anchor up, make sure to never strain the anchor windlass. If you hear the windlass strain, stop, wait for the boat to get closer to the anchor and then start again. When bringing the anchor up, be very careful at the last part to go nice and slow, again, so it does not swing and hit the hull of the boat. The last part coming over the roller can be quite violent, so do it with small presses. If the anchor is twisted, grab the boat hook and turn it to the correct way, like this. Make sure to put the remote away onto its cradle before locking the locker. Marie has three water tanks and three water tank fill points on the upper deck. The first one is at the bow here, underneath the locker. When filling this, be very careful to watch it and don't fill it too fast, as if it overflows, it's going to fall into here and then cause problems later on with water around the bow thruster engine. So make sure you monitor this as you're filling it. The second fill point for the middle tank is located here on the midships of the boat. Be careful as this one is labelled water. Fill that one. This one is labelled waste. You do not want to fill that one. So make sure you read what you fill. The third water fill point is located here towards the aft of the boat. All fill points are on the starboard side. In the starboard lazarette you have some of your spare equipment including your swim ladder, freshwater hose and the pump for the dinghy. In the port side lazarette you have your spear, 50 meter shoreline and 25 meter line, fuel for the outboard motor, oars for the dinghy and a deck brush including a funnel and a baler. Marie has an in-mast furling mainsail and a roller furler Genoa. Your technician will have checked your sails to make sure they're in good working order before your charter. You can roll these out if the weather permits to double check the condition and then put them away safely. All of the main power controls are located here at the chart table. The main control panel controls all of your lights and systems from here. Your navigation lights such as your masthead or anchor light, steaming light for motoring, flood light for the deck, bow navigation lights, stern navigation light or the cabin lights inside the boat. Over here you have your navigation and compass, music controls, the anchor, windlass, on and off, bilge pumps, shower pumps, water pumps, etc. here. Also the control for the fridge or the lights for the panel. Wi-Fi is labeled here on F5. You can also use these 12 volt power options all the time while the mains power is on. The 220 volt system switches and observation panel is here underneath the chart table. In this position here, you are running off AC shore power. When switching from shore power to generator power or 12 volt inverter power, you must control your AC pump and controller here. When starting your generator, turn the AC pump off and then to generator AC. Turn the mains off from land through 12 volt to generator 220 then start your generator. Do not start the generator without the switches in this or this position. The controller for the generator is in the aft port cabin along with one air conditioning controller. This air conditioning controller controls the air conditioning for the aft cabins. You then have one more controller in the saloon for the air conditioning here in the saloon and then another controller in the forward port cabin that will control the AC in all of the forward cabins. The generator control is located in the aft port cabin on the wall by the engine. Press the power button. Remember to change the switches at the main control before starting the generator. You will see standby, then press start. It will preheat and then start automatically.
It will then read OK and tell you what it is outputting. To turn off the generator, hold down stop and then press power to turn off the panel. The main 220 volt switches and breakers for the generator are located here beneath this panel in the same aft port cabin as the controller. If you have problems with the generator, these switches could have flipped, turn them back on. There are also two burnable fuses here further aft inside this compartment. The Wabasto air conditioning controls are touchscreen operated. You can adjust the temperature by pressing plus or minus on the dial. And you can adjust the fan speed, either setting it to auto or manually decreasing or increasing the fan speed. When using the inverter, turn this switch to 12 volt and then turn on the inverter here. Then change sure main voltage from to zero, then to inverter. You now have 12 volt power inverted to 230 volts. With the inverter running, you will then have 220 volt at this power socket under here and throughout the boat 12 volt systems as well. When you turn the inverter switch off, this will kill the power to the main panel. Underneath the seat that I'm sitting on here at the chart table, you'll find the inverter and the main controls for the inverter. The inverter has a remote switch behind me up here, which turns on and off like this. You should not need to operate it any other way. If you have an issue with this, you can call MK Yacht Explorer and ask the technician to explain it. They will explain that underneath the seat, the main switches for the inverter are located here, and there is one extra switch on the inverter you can use to reset the inverter in a case of a issue that needs resetting. Underneath the chart table in this panel down here, you will find the breaker for the electric windlass. This is a replaceable, burnable fuse, and if you have a problem with this, you can replace this here. Next to this, there are the fuses for the standard systems, such as the lights, water pump, etc. These are changeable here. These two switches here are your shore power and bow and stern thruster main breakers. If these clip out or have an issue, you can control them here. Slide this up and then hit the red button to turn off. Slide this down and hit the red button to turn on. In the cupboard above the nav station, you have your VHF radio with wireless handheld remote and your Bluetooth fusion stereo with controller in the cockpit. To operate the VHF, hold down the power button and it will turn on. Remember the international distress and calling channel is channel 16. Most ports and marinas will run on channel 17 here in Croatia. To adjust your channel, rotate this dial here. If you adjust the channel on the main unit or the slave unit, it will adjust the other. They are one in the same. This unit will not work without the base unit running. When the unit is placed back onto the cradle, it will automatically charge. Hold down the power buttons to turn these off. The stereo has a button on top for you to input CDs here, or it runs a Bluetooth system as well. In the navigation table, you have your charts for the Croatian sailing areas. On top, we also have the light, which will clip into the saloon table outside to give you light. Inside the navigation table, you have your binoculars, key for the boat, hand bearing compass, you have the Artsy Marina's books and sailing magazines. Also in here, we have your spear fuses and breakers for the yacht. Among other things, you have your Adriatic Sea Pilot, lights list, cruising guide, and documents for the boat. You also have an extra 101 info, your Dransko More chart, and your plotting equipment dividers, compass, and pens and pencils. The gas shutoff valve is located in the galley behind this locker. In this position here, it is 
closed or off and in this position here it is on. Always turn this off once you have finished your cooking and turn the gas off at the bottle. Marie has two fridges, one accessible from the top mount here with the control dial in that you can adjust the temperature and the second inside this cupboard a traditional door fridge with a freezer box in the top and a control dial here on the side. The safety equipment and life jackets for Marie are located under this compartment here and behind the saloon seats. In this equipment you have your flares, orange handheld and smoke floats in this dry bag, anchor drogue, first aid kits, emergency ladder, bosun's chair, wooden bungs for through hole fittings on the yacht in case of emergency, spare belts and parts for the engine, fog horn, an axe, day shapes for motor sailing and anchoring, bolt cutters, toolkit, flashlight, survival blankets, fire extinguishers, and harnesses. As said before, the life jackets are located behind the saloon cushions on the starboard side of the boat. They are inflatable life jackets. Check the instructions on how to use these. Make sure you know exactly where they are. The engine and generator are located underneath the companionway steps here in the center of the boat. Battery switches, as mentioned before, are here for the engine and the generator. In this position, they are on. In this position, they are off. You can access the oil check from here and do your visual checks of the engine at this point. The engine start battery is located down here. Marie has three water tanks. These each have their own fill point up on the deck. The valves for these water tanks are all three located in the aft starboard bathroom. Under the sink in this cupboard here, when you rotate these valves clockwise, they are in the on position. When you rotate them anti-clockwise, they are off. Our suggestion is that you only have one water tank open at one time. This way you'll know when a tank is empty and you will know how many tanks you have left. Marie has three bathrooms and three toilets. Each of these toilets has a holding tank for the black water. In the aft starboard cabin, the head is accessible from the cabin only. You also have a separate shower here with an automatic shower drain pump. The holding tank valve for the toilet is located in the cupboard underneath the sink. In this position here, the valve is closed across the line. And in this position here, the valve is open. The aft port bathroom, the valve is also located under the sink here in this position. Here, the valve is open. And in this position, the valve is closed. The forward starboard head also has a holding tank and the valve is underneath the sink in this position here, slightly harder to get to, so you need to look for it. In this position here, the valve is open. And in this position here, the valve is closed. The two starboard side toilets are electric flush toilets. You hold down on this button here to flush and remove from the toilet. You can hold down this button here just to fill the bowl or this button here just to empty the bowl. Remember to flush for 10 to 15 seconds to make sure to remove everything up through the pipes and down into the holding tank. The aft port head is the manual flush toilet. To flush this toilet, there is a switch by the pump handle. When it is to the right, like this, it will remove anything from the bowl and suck the bowl dry. When it is to the left, it will pump water into the system and suck the water out of the system. Remember to pump 10 to 15 times once all of the waste has disappeared in order to push all of the waste up through the pipes and into the holding tank. Now remember, with all of the heads, only what comes out of your body goes into the toilet. Everything else, paper, sanitary products, etc., all need to go into the rubbish bin provided. All of the shower drain pumps on Marie are automatic. So as soon as the water falls into the base, it will start pumping it away, given that it is turned on at the control panel. 
Thank you for watching this video check-in for the Bavaria 51 Cruiser Murray. I hope you have an amazing week. See you when you get back.